What's up everyone? I recorded this video on October 12th, 2021. It's Tuesday morning, 1130, 66 Fahrenheit, 19 Celsius. And I'll be walking through the village of Port Jefferson today in Suffolk County, New York. This is located in the town of Brookhaven and it was first settled in the 17th century. The original settlers of the town of Brookhaven bought attractive land from the Settlecott Indians. And in fact, the original name of Port Jefferson was Sowasset. It's a Native American term meaning a place of small pines or where the water opens. This is my first time in the Port Jefferson area. Port Jefferson was known for a lot of shipbuilding and I think it still is today. It's also the location of two cross Long Island Sound ferries. The uh, ferry over here goes from Port Jefferson to Bridgeport, Connecticut and the other one is at Orient Point at the northern tip of Long Island. Port Jefferson looks like a very nice little village. I'm walking on Main Street. Right now it's still early, so I don't expect too many places to be open. There's a law office. Nice little village grocery store. I took the Long Island Railroad to get here. It cost $11 and it took about an hour and a half from Jamaica uh, Station. And uh, from the train station, I rode my electric scooter down to the village. There's Red Shirt Comics, toys, collectibles, and more. Port Jefferson Salt Cave. The First Presbyterian Church. I love the little green dome at the top. Masonic Temple of Port Jefferson. I actually like this saloon a lot. Billy's 1890. And over here, we have the intersection of East Main Street and Main Street. This sign here says that it's a historic district. I guess I'll walk on uh, East Main Street and see what there is to offer along here. Let's do this. Love the architecture of uh, Port Jefferson. There's the US Post Office across the street. Mm -hmm. 
nice decoration in the window. BYOG wine bar. Bring your own glass, I guess. And here we have the Toast Coffee House. I actually ate here for breakfast from a recommendation and it was delicious. Probably the best breakfast place in Port Jefferson. And um, you could probably see my video on my Action Kid Extra channel of the breakfast that I had. The East Main Street Passageway established in 1971. Cute little staircase going down. There's another view of the post office. Varicose Vein Center. The village's population is about 7,700 people. I think there's an Italian restaurant, Luna Nova. Very cool. Salon Blonde. Cute name for a hair salon. Thank you. What'd you get? Two oils. Oh, nice. Where to? This is Wander. Okay. Such a nice day for wandering. Like on the dock. This is such a beautiful structure. I'm not sure if it's a church. Yeah, it has to be a church. There's a cross at the top. And uh, East Main Street goes over to the left here. It's also a sign saying this is the location of the Connecticut Ferry. Taking the ferry saves a lot of time. You don't have to drive all the way through New York City to go north. I'm not too sure how long the ferry takes or how much it costs. Downport Barbershop. And we have an attorney's office. Look at this. This business is closed right now, but it's the Tort Jeff Bake Fresh Pie Company. Love all the different pies they have in the window. It's a neat little pole leading to the entrance of that house. Wow. Everything is sold here? Looks like you can get homes anywhere here from $350,000 up to $712,000. This one might still be available. Cardinal Real Estate. Another real estate office, Maria Palmer Properties.
doggy boutique and bakery. That's a unique combination I've never seen before. Earring taboo boutique store. This village is so charming. There's so many different mom and pot shops. I love it. Even a cool little bicycle. Here's the Tiger Lily Cafe. Looks great in here. Pretty cool menu. Funky creative space for musicians, artists, and great food lovers. Also, they have a few stickers saying that it's the city's best. Long Island Press, number one. There's even a red telephone booth there. You see those a lot in London. Or maybe you used to see them. I'm not sure if they're there anymore. Port Jefferson Free Library. It's a huge building for a free library location. Beautiful staircase leading to the uh, parking lot. Bridal Rush, PH Untain Health and Wellness Club. Hair, lash, brow. Hair artistry, hair extensions, bridal services. Hair, lash, and brow bar. Some makeup bar in there too. There are so many cool little spots. This little spot is called Baker's Alley. Pattern Finders Limited. Looks like a vintage shop. Oh, they're closed today. It's a uh, Tuesday. Another antique store. I wonder where the Connecticut Ferry is. This is a neat little shop. Breathe, crystals, jewelry, incense. They also got a lot of religious figurines in there. Beautiful. And here's a alkaline herb shop.
All right, well, that was uh, historic East Main Street. Now it looks like we're uh, by the water. It's a beautiful building. Butterfly Salon and Spa. Look at this. The village of Port Jefferson Founders Park. Dedicated to the founding families of Port Jefferson, 1987. Got a parking lot here. What building is this? Conference center, in marina, restaurant and waterfront dining. Really liking this Founders Park. This is the galley building. We saw the rear of it from the parking lot. Danford's Hotel and Marina. Here's the fifth season. It's a restaurant and bar. Okay, so the Connecticut Ferry is over to the right. There's uh, two boats docked there right now. One of them is the famous P.T. Barnum boat, the legendary uh, inventor of the P.T. Car uh, Barnum Company, the circus company. I was reading he even owned land here in Port Jefferson. So this area here is a strip mall called the Lighthouse Plaza. Let's check out this Lighthouse Ferry. I mean this um, Connecticut Ferry. Building. 
Okay. All right. No recording the ferry. Here's the steam room seafood. Don't know why they'd be so strict on uh, recording the ferry operations there. I wasn't even gonna go all the way in. Welcome to New York. This sign's mainly for people coming from Connecticut. I really like this strip mall here. There's a Godiva chocolate, a frozen yogurt place, and another place for nuts, Fiesta nuts. Here's the sign. Welcome to the incorporated village of Port Jefferson. Well, I'll avoid the uh, boarding area and I'll walk over here in the parking lot. Here's the P.T. Barnum boat. a lot of nice boats docked here at the marina. Maybe that's the fire department.
Wonder how many shops are along this waterfront area. Let's see. I like that job. How you doing? They're improving the infrastructure. That was the sound of the boat. And it's leaving right now. We caught it just at the right time. Indian fusion restaurant across the street. It's pretty large. They have a top floor as well. Port Jefferson Marina. We just saw a little bit of it, of it already. Okay, this is the Village Hall of Port Jefferson. Cute little bakery, Dortoni uh, Bakery and Cafe. Oh, here's Barnum Avenue, named after P.T. Barnum. This looks like a very historic house. And it is. Wait. No, I don't need to wait. I already crossed the street. We got the Culpert Spiring Surviving Revolutionary War Structure built by Phillips Row in 1755. It's an old house.
Over here we've got the PJ Harbor Club. These are some really nice homes. The Overbay uh, housing area, apartment community. But um, doesn't really look like there's much up there. I think that's uh, all of Port Jefferson that I wanted to show with you all. But anyway, Hope you enjoyed this video walking through Port Jefferson in Suffolk County, New York. If you enjoyed it, then smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.